Hello friends. Now in the our quadratic equation chapter, let us see the relation between roots and coefficients of the quadratic equation. Let us check this. If a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero is given quadratic equations, we know that the roots are alpha is equal to minus b plus b square minus 4ac. This is the first root upon 2a and beta is equal to minus b minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a. This is the second root. Then the relation is sum of the roots that is alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a and alpha beta that is the product of the root is c upon a. You can verify this. We can verify this. What is alpha alpha plus beta? Let us check alpha plus beta is equal to this plus this. Okay. Since the denominators are common, I can take 2a here minus b minus b minus b plus b square minus 4ac minus b minus b square minus 4ac. So this 2 will get cancelled minus b minus b will get 2 minus 2b upon 2a. So we get minus b upon a which we get here and if we do alpha into beta 2 upon a square that is 4 a square here we'll get and can you see that it is a plus b and a minus b so this will be a square minus b square so this will be minus b square that is b square minus square of this means root sign will go b square minus 4 ac so here we will get b square minus b square plus 4 ac upon 4 a square now these two will go this 4 will go this a will cancel with this and finally we will get c upon a nobody is going to ask you the to prove this i have just shown you how you get alpha plus alpha plus beta and alpha beta okay we'll have to solve the examples based on this so based on this relations between the roots and coefficients before going to exercise 2.7 we'll see some solved examples the first example is find k if one root of the equation equation they are given the equation is the equation is 5x square plus 6x plus k 5x square plus 6x plus k is equal to 0 in this equation they have asked us to find k and what they are given if one root of the equation is 5 times the other that is if one root alpha will be equal to phi beta this is given okay now we know that alpha plus beta is equal to you know what is alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is minus b upon a right just substitute the value of alpha in this equation and find out the value of beta and find out that value of beta in this equations this is the first equation which is given just find out the value of beta and alpha from these two equations before that you have to write a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 c is equal to k you can write this is equation 2 you have to write substituting the value of alpha from equation 1 into equation 2 we get phi beta plus beta is equal to minus 6 upon phi 
we have 6 beta is equal to minus 6 upon 5 hence we have beta is equal to minus 1 upon 5 substituting this value into 1 you will get value of alpha is equal to phi into minus 1 upon phi that is minus 1. So now you got the values of alpha and beta. You know this is equal to c and we know that alpha beta is equal to what is alpha beta is c upon a. So alpha into beta minus 1 into minus minus 1 into minus 1 upon phi is equal to c is k upon phi. So here we have k is equal to we will interchange the sides or k upon phi will take to this side will take to this side is equal to 1 upon phi hence k is equal to 1. Simple, very simple. You can do something like that. Instead of this, you can just give the value, substitute the value in these equations. See, when they are given that one root is uh, 5 times, 4 times greater or less than some other, then you have got three equations in only three variables. Fine, you can easily find out the answers. Okay, let us see second one. Let us solve one more solved example. They are given this quadratic equation x square plus kx plus 48 equal to 0. And they have given that the roots of this quadratic equation alpha and beta are in the ratio 3 is to 4. So let us take that alpha is equal to 3m and beta is equal to 4m because they are in the ratio 3 is to 4. Now we have alpha beta is equal to c upon a. So we have 12 m square is equal to c is 48 upon 1. So m square is equal to 48 upon 12 is 4. So m is equal to plus minus 2. Okay, and now we have got alpha plus beta alpha plus beta is equal to is equal to what minus b upon a so we have 3m plus 4m that is 7m is equal to minus k a is 1 okay m is equal to plus minus 2 so we have plus minus 14 is equal to minus k so k is equal to plus minus 14 so we have found out the value of k when quadratic equation this is given just remember we have two equations which are known one more information they gave us that is the roots are in the ratio 3 is to 4 so we have to find out by this method you can apply another method also it is not a method as such you can say that if the roots are in the ratio 3 is to 4 that is alpha upon beta is equal to 3 is to 4 so alpha is equal to 3 upon 4 beta and by substituting this value first we can find out the alpha and beta then substituting in these two equations you can get the value of k so in this case i am not going to use this m i am going to do it directly okay you can even try by this method and you will get the answer okay now let's see one more example if alpha and beta are the roots of equation x square minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 x square 
minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. This is the given quadratic equation. We have to find the value of alpha square plus beta square. Find first we have to find alpha square plus beta square and then we have to find alpha upon beta plus beta upon alpha. This is very easy. You know that a equal to 1, b equal to minus 4 and c equal to 1. What we will do? First we will try to find out this alpha square plus beta square. Now we know that a plus b sorry now we know that a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square right now suppose if I want only a square plus b square like here I want only alpha square plus beta square what will I what I have to do I have to from this rectangle uh, from this bracket I have to subtract 2 a b right and what is this rectangle is a plus b bracket square minus 2 a b right this rectangle is same a square plus 2 a b plus b square So, by doing this, what I will get? What I will get? I will get only a square plus b square. Okay. So, from from a square a plus b bracket square, I have come up to a square plus b square. How? A plus b bracket square minus 2ab. If I do like this, I will get a square plus b square. Similarly, the similar thing I will apply here. This is equal to alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta. Now in this, we know the values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. We know that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a and alpha beta is equal to c upon a. This we know. This we know. We can substitute the values here. Alpha plus beta and 2 alpha beta. So, here I will get minus b upon a minus b is 4 a is 1. So, 4 square minus 2 into alpha beta is c upon a c is 1 a is 1 into 1. So, I have 16 minus 2 that is 14. Okay? Now, so alpha upon beta plus beta upon alpha this is equal to first we will simplify this by cross multiplication. So, alpha square plus beta square upon alpha beta. Now, here we know the value of alpha square plus beta square. The first, we have found out this identity. This is 14 and alpha beta we know c upon a which is c is 1, a is 1, 1. So, this is also equal to 14. So, both the values we have got 14. Let us solve one more example of this type and then we can move to exercise 2.7. They are given one quadratic equation x square minus 8x plus k equal to 0. x square minus 8x plus k 
equal to 0. This is our given quadratic equation. If they are given, if one of the root of quadratic this equation is 1 root is equal to 4 plus root 3. One of the root means, suppose if I consider alpha is equal to 4 plus root 3, we know that the beta will be conjugate of this. Means, beta will be equal to 4 minus root 3. Beta will be equal to 4 minus root 3. And now we have to find the value of k. So, we know that alpha, alpha beta is c upon a that is 1 upon 1 or k upon 1 that is k. What is alpha beta is 4 plus root 3 into 4 minus root 3. This is just like a plus b a minus b equal to a square minus b square which is equal to 4 square minus root 3 square. 4 square is or let us write this once 4 plus root 3 4 minus root 3 is equal to k. Now this is a plus b a minus b. So a square minus b square that is 4 square minus root 3 square equal to k. So 16 minus 3 is equal to k. So k is, is equal to 13. So friends we have learned this topic thoroughly. We have solved some examples for practice but we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set then the hearts some paper solutions everything we are going to solve for further solution of exercises and problem set please purchase our dvd you can buy our dvd online by visiting our websites the address for the websites or the place where you can buy your dvds are given just below this video in the description Thank you very much.